Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Hannah Messier. Pam is joining us now with our weather-wise question. Our question today is about daylight, so let's take a look at the question. Cedar Rapids will have 10 hours and 41 minutes of daylight today, which is close to the same amount Cedar Rapids had on A, November 1st, B, October 24th, C, October 12th, or D, September 1st. I'll let you guys think about the last time we had around this much sunlight. And we're going to look at the Fayette City Camp, where the sun is about to rise. Beautiful, clear conditions all across eastern Iowa. But there is a price to seeing that clear sky and it's very cold temperatures. We're in the single digits this morning. It's six right now in Cedar Rapids, eight in Iowa City and seven in Fayette with wind chills also in the single digits below zero. Your first alert has wind highlighted on it. That's because we're going to have gusts higher than 20 miles per hour, potentially up to 30 miles per hour for the entire day into the overnight hours. On our satellite and radar, clear skies across all of eastern Iowa. Everyone will have a beautiful sunrise in your pinpoint future cast. Nice clear conditions all the way through the afternoon with winds again coming out of the west. Evening overnight hours still clear. That means for your Sunday morning, we'll wake up to plenty of sunshine. We're going to see again winds be a little bit high today. They're going to gradually increase about up to 25 miles per hour early this afternoon, staying in 25 plus miles per hour as we head into the evening hours. If again, a few gusts could reach up to 30 miles per hour. So it's just going to be kind of a blustery one. Today, highs actually seasonal for once. That's kind of exciting. 33 in Fayette, 34 in Decorah, 35 in Tame, and 32 degrees in Cedar Rapids. Sunny and windy. And in terms of what it'll feel like when you pair the winds with the temperatures, we're going to stay in the single digits through the morning hours. We're going to be in the teens expected for wind chills in the early afternoon. Finally, late afternoon, it starts to feel like the 20s. But in general, it's just going to feel very cold, especially compared to what we've had over the last several weeks. Overnight tonight, temperatures cooling into the 20s, 24 in Charles City, 23 degrees expected in Manchester, and 25 in Iowa City with a clear sky. So even though today is cold, it's not going to last long. Already beginning Sunday, we're going to have above normal temperatures expand over the state of Iowa and the entirety of the Midwest. In your long-term temperature outlook, as we end February and begin March, it's pretty warm across the Midwest. In your long-term precipitation outlook for that same time period, end of February through the beginning of March, we have what are the normal conditions in the forecast. Now here's your nine-day. Next couple of days, we're going to see rising temperatures. 45 on Sunday, 50 degrees, partly cloudy for President's Day. Overnight temperatures in the 20s and 30s. Past Monday into Tuesday and Wednesday, we have highs in the 50s. Tuesday and Wednesday, 40s Thursday and Friday. It's just that spring really is just sticking around. It's just obeying Emily's will. Now in our weather wise question, uh, we have Emily. You want to try and answer it first? Um, yeah, sure. I'll say D. All right. I'm going with C. The answer was B, October 24th. October 24th, we had 10 hours, 42 minutes of daylight, and that's very close to now. So the amount of daylight we're seeing for this time of year is the same as the amount of daylight we usually get at the end of October. So slowly seeing more and more of that daylight, that makes me happy <laughs> uh, almost as much as the above normal temperatures. Definitely. Yeah. We're both excited for that, I think. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks.